You're tuned in to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Welcome back to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast, where we are showcasing the coolest brands and gifts while featuring movers and makers. I'm your host, Lenore, and on this episode, we're going to upgrade your hand sanitizer game with Bond Sanitizer. I got two of them in front of me right now. It's the world's only one-touch wearable and refillable gel sanitizer dispenser. It's perfect for healthcare workers, teachers, retail workers. Honestly, anybody on the go, this is the perfect sanitizer for you. So to tell us all about Bond Sanitizer, we've invited their creator, Hirsch Chin, on today's episode. So Hirsch, welcome to the Brand Ambassador Select Podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Lenore. So thank you, first of all, for sending us three different bond sanitizers. I got one, I got two, I got three. This one's the full one, the white one, because we've been using this one. But tell us about bond sanitizer and how it really works. Okay, so bond sanitizer started really out of the necessity of going to the store, you know, in uh, end of March, April, um, when COVID was really just coming in strong. Um, and it became like this really stressful situation when you when you would go shopping and you touch the shopping cart or you t- touch things or you touch your credit card and co- you know until you got to your car where you kept your sanitizer and uh, what you touched in between it was just it was becoming uh, a stressful situation and I felt I needed to come up with something that kind of alleviated all that stress. Uh, was convenient, was big enough to carry around. Uh, I saw people walking around with big pump bottles in their pockets. You know, that that, that didn't look too efficient. So um, that's how it was born. Um, you know, went through a bunch of iterations and 3D printing processes until we came up with the final product. And here we are. It's a three-piece uh, product. So you have, you have a valve on the top. And you can see that over there. And that valve that comes off. And here we got an empty one here. So the valve comes off. That the cartridge gets filled up. I know you've been using yours for a while now. And then you pop it back into the holster. We call it the holster, cartridge, nozzle, and holster. Um, and you see how the back of the holster is cut away so that when you're wearing it, you just reach underneath it and squeeze. And that bottle is flexible, the cartridge is flexible. So when you squeeze, and there you go. You squeeze from the bottom and you get your, your got a little too much sanitizer. <laughs> boom there you go so you, you figure out the perfect amount of pressure you get exactly what you need and you always have it together with once people start wearing it the feedback that i've gotten has been incredible um you know just just knowing that you have your sanitizer with you even people that aren't germaphobes um they really you know it's a new world now and people are really cognizant of the germs that's around and they feel they feel safer and in turn i think they've you know they're a little more calm uh, about the situation yeah this is definitely easy and for somebody like me that sometimes i won't put it like i'm wearing jeans today so i do have a pocket that i can put this on but sometimes i don't have pockets that i can put this on or or from wearing a dress and i like that i was able to actually snap it to the strap of my purse up here so i love the fact that it's very versatile right. in that aspect everything that went into this design was intentional the guy is going to just use it on a kind of like a big belt they're very, they're very versatile. You can stretch it out a little bit. They're not going to snap. Um, and then it'll get, you know, it'll fit nicely and comfortably around the belt. Um, but we also made it tight because we're getting so many people in the healthcare world, nurses, doctors that are clipping it onto their scrubs, which are very thin. So we wanted to have, we wanted to have a clip that starts out tight. And if that's where they're using it, it'll still grip all day long. It'll loosen up if you're using it constantly on a belt. Um, or it'll stay tight if you're using it on, on let's say, just pants or or a, uh, or scrubs. So, Harsh, a little bit about you. Is this your first, like, invention? Or have you made other products like this before? It is my first invention. It's uh, I've never done anything like this. Congratulations! <laughs> and, and it's been an incredible journey, actually. I was in the real estate industry for about 15 years. And I was in healthcare for about four years, five years. Um, I had an exit in uh, January of 2020, and I was in the process of getting into other healthcare opportunities when COVID hit, and kind of everything went on hold. You know, it was impossible to get into facilities at the time. So, you know, we did an instant pivot, and I think you know a lot of people during COVID had to do that. 
um, and I was fortunate enough to to strike on something that was uh, was obviously timely, but it, it's super functional, and and the feedback has been incredible. What obstacles do you think that you've faced that you've overcome that can help other inventors out there? So I would say, obviously, you know, in the beginning, it's really important to have, I guess, design engineer, because without that, it's really hard to, especially something in 3D, um, it's really hard to see and feel like you can draw it up on paper all the time. And I have a notebook full of, of drawings that I, I'm not, I'm not a real artist, but you know, like you make it and it looks right, but then until you see it, touch it, feel it and, and try it, it, it doesn't really mean anything. So number one is to, is to spend the money up front. Um, and they're not crazy expensive, but to get somebody that has a good 3d printer, uh, with drawings and can, and can print out your product so you can feel it and wear it for a day or two and see what tweaks you want to make to it. Um, and number two is really to source, to take the time uh, to source a, a proper manufacturer, get references, um, you know, get get pricing, but also get references, not just the cheapest guy, but, but the one uh, that people know there are so many manufacturers out there. Um, you know, there's different quality, there's different... Uh, you know, there's different levels of people that you work with. So it's important to to have a good reference uh, or hopefully multiple and um, and stick with somebody that you like. It's work. You, you got to keep going and, you know, balance, balance the books, balance the budget, you know, product quantities. It's all. How did we come up with Bond? Like Bond specifically, Bond sanitizer. Is there, is that, do you like James Bond or something like that? Like how did it come up? How did you get there? You know, we felt so disconnected when March, April rolled around, you know, nobody was high-fiving or hugging, or shaking hands. Um, so there was this big human disconnect um, that we were all feeling. And, and my partner and I uh, were, were discussing that aspect. Like that's one thing that we miss most, you know, all of a sudden everyone's home, people are disconnected from their friends, not even just physically, but but spatially, you know, we're, we're not having guests over anymore. It was, it was a big deal. So we wanted to create uh, something that reconnected people and allowed people to bond again. And that's, that's really where it came from. And then people said, Oh, it's like a gadget bond. So we're like, sure. You know, but really it's about connection, human connection. Yeah. Those friendships that you have, it's like, I can think of a couple of people who I still like, haven't even like hugged or touched. And it's kind of weird. Like it's almost it been 10 months, like no yeah. physical yeah. anything. Yeah. You see a friend and you're like, Hey, you know, it's, it, it's a, it's a very strange world that, that we're living in now. And hopefully that'll be over, you know, as the vaccines come around and, you know, that's, I'm not, I'm not a medical person at all. So I don't know, you know, it's very good. And they seem like hopefully be able to start interacting again in a great way. But even so, I think people are going to be much more of germs and be, be more sensitive to that. So I think bond is, is here to stay. So for those listening right now, if I'm like an individual person, I can purchase these, right? But what if I was listening and I happen to own like a company or a corporation? Is a bulk order allowed through you guys to be able to supply that to employees? Absolutely. So we've been getting uh, a lot of bulk orders. We've been able to put the company logos on the front as well. So oh. I got an order for 5,000 pieces, um, you know, for a nursing home. Uh, you know, different healthcare facilities and other other industries as well. Um, but yeah, if they if they contact me at uh, sales at bondsanitizer.com, uh, I'll be happy to talk to them, and walk them through it. But you know, to have something that's that's personalized with the company logo, the employees really feel that. Yeah, that was one of the one of the important pieces of feedback that I got is that the, the employees feel that the company is cares about them and is taking care of them by giving them that extra level of safety comfort um, even in nursing homes or hospitals where there's sanitizers along the wall a lot of times i've heard you know one of them is empty or you know you just something touched you right now you want to get you want to clean your hands and and the nurses are really liking having it on on their person i'm getting uh, a lot of orders uh, different colors because you know we're getting companies that get it on the black ones and the white ones the gray ones um and I think they'll love it. I think the employees, the employees would really 
uh, they're proud to wear it and they're proud to show that the that their company cares about them. And, you know, as they come back to work slowly but surely as they trickle into back to work, it's just another it's, it's just another level of precaution that they feel they're, you know, they're really happy about. I have to say my favorite part about this, yes, it's great that Eclipse and everything, but the fact that I'm able to put whatever hand sanitizer I want to use in here, because when you go around and I, the only way I can explain it is like those hand sanitizers that smell like really bad tequila and that you don't want to smell at certain times <laughs> of the day. And this way I can actually put whatever kind that is best for me in here and i can consistently refill it so i can get a bigger bottle of sanitizer fill it in here know that it's always ready to go and live my life and save the planet because like i'm not throwing this out it's reusable exactly it, it, they, and it is recyclable at, you know when that point comes when you're ready to upgrade and get a new one but um but it's definitely that's a big thing that everyone liked was that some people like certain scents. Some people like no scent. Um, and you're kind of stuck, you know, at the supermarket with whatever, you know, whatever was cheapest that they, you know, that they put out front. And it, sometimes it's pretty awful, you know, and you walk around with that smell on your hand. Or you go to a restaurant, you know, or take out food and your hand smells like grapefruit. And you don't really want to smell grapefruit while you're eating your, your food, you know. So it's, it, it is nice to be able to put in what you like and um, go about your day. I would just say always be careful that that the nozzle when you put it back on um, is put on and really, you know, just push down on there. There's a little lip that, that the neck of the bow that it doesn't pop off, you know, but once it's on there, it's on there good. I know people, here's the problem. We like fidget spinners and, and that kind of thing. People like to play around with it and pop it up and down as you know there so just be careful because you could you could pop off the nozzle because it's made to come off uh, to refill so to grab your bond sanitizer in white and in gray or in black or you know what i see on their website they got a bundle too you can go to bondsanitizer.com that's b-o-n-d-s-a-n-i-t-i-z-e-r.com you can check them out on facebook at load clip bond which you can load it you can clip it and you can bond with everybody around the world and you can check them out on instagram too at bond sanitizer once again bond sanitizer.com the creator hirsch chin thank you for showing us your invention today thank you so much and one more thing for your listeners uh we didn't dis discuss this but for your listeners as your brand ambassador select podcast so if, uh, if they type in bas podcast uh they'll get a 20 percent discount on our website oh yay who doesn't love a just discount for you. there you go so once again we just found out we have a discount code at bondsanitizer.com with the promo code bas podcast for 20 percent. right that's great that's a steal gotta buy myself some for my friends for valentine's day coming up there you Her go there you go i love it hirsch thank you so much for joining us on another episode of the brand ambassador select podcast I'm your host, Lenore. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss one. More at brandambassadorselect.com, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for having me, Lenore. It's been fun.